Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a financial and career reading for you for April 1st to the 15th, 2019. That's 2019. All right, so I'm going to give the cards a good shuffle. I ask that you guys give this reading a thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the videos that I'm putting up, and you're helping this channel grow into something big and into something beautiful. So I want to thank each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, for your support, you guys are absolutely amazing. And if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, or, or Ascendant, what April 1st to the 15th, 2019, that's 2019, has in store for you. Leo, financial and career, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, Finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, finance and career, April 1st to the 15th. Leo, finance and career, April 1st to the 15th. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Leo. Finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, Leo. Finance and career, April 1st to the 15th, Leo. Finance and career, April 1st to the 15th. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. That's where the cards fell, so that's where Spirit wants me to stop. At the center of everything, okay, you have the Seven of Pentacles. I laugh because at the center of everything is patience. You guys have to have patience as things move forward for the first half of April. There's going to be a tendency to look at everything that you're regretting, everything that isn't going right. And this is it. That's going to lead to a vicious cycle here. Also, there's a veil that's going to be lifted from your eyes when it comes to finances, when it comes to what it is that you desire. And even though you feel kind of out in the cold, you you need to know that you're on the right track. OK, most definitely. Yeah, because there's celebration. There's a sense of moving forward. There's hard work ahead, definitely, but there's also, you know, kind of being seen in your work, in your career for what it is that you do, for how it is that you want to move forward with the Six of Wands right here. And then you have the Page of Cups. This is a water sign, a Pisces, okay, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. There's a sense of emotions running high when it comes to career, when it comes to your work. You have the Three of Cups here. You have an earth sign, the page of pentacles, and you have the universe. So there is going to be betrayal around money. And I want you guys to just be aware of that. When it comes to finances and career, there are going to be people who kind of want to, to one up you. This is around a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer. It can also be just simply around somebody with somebody who's new to where it is that you work or something where you are working with a new person that you haven't worked with before and things aren't going to be quite as smooth they're going to try and take ideas that you have and pass them off as their own that's definitely what i'm seeing here so kind of the sentiment of trust everyone but brand your cattle is going to be really big right now and you have to have patience with the way that things are moving forward you're going to want things to move forward a bit more quickly if you try to rush it here i'm just seeing that there's going to be things obstacles put in your way to try and rush things so make sure that you're nurturing your projects make sure that you're nurturing your ideas as you are moving forward because there is just this sense here of somebody trying to get the better of you, somebody trying to get the better of the situation, and you are, you're really not going to be having it. Okay, show me clearly, show me clearly. April 1st to the 15th, 2019. Leo, show me clearly. Okay. Serenity? Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. And this one. Here, strength. Okay, I love the strength one because that's kind of, that's arcing back to you, Leo, because you are represented by the strength card in the Major Arcana. So serenity within yourself is going to be astoundingly important, okay? The spirit of serenity brings a calmness to the connectivity of all that is, all right? So serenity. Strength. Inner strength is the power within that pushes action into all areas of life. Strength. 
okay? So serenity from within and strength from within is going to be what you need to really embrace. And that's what we're seeing here with the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is saying patience, have patience. And I know that's never what anybody wants to hear, especially when it comes to finances, when it comes to career. For me, that's never anything I want to hear anyway. So I know that you're probably rolling your eyes when you see the Seven of Pentacles and you're saying, I don't want to have patience, but you are nurturing something greater and you've been putting so much time, so much effort into what it is that you're nurturing, into what it is that you are attempting to create here that you don't want to rush it because it's almost like, it's like making a beautiful cake or a beautiful souffle or, or something that has just been super time consuming and taking it out of the oven before it's done and it just falling apart. Okay. That's what I'm seeing here when it comes to the seven of pentacles. This is saying, keep your patience, keep your focus, keep focusing on what it is that you want. Leo, because you're going to be getting there and it's going to come through perseverance of soul and self. And it's going to come because you are nurturing your strengths. And also you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on how much things are costing, how much, you know, how much profit you are making. Okay. You're really kind of boiling it all down and looking at things very, very logically right now. And you, you have a gift for that. All right, Leo, you have a gift for looking at things and being very pragmatic at times. You are a fire sign. You have that fiery energy around you, but especially for these 15 days, you have a practicality to you that is going to serve you very, very well. So make sure that you, I mean, I know you probably don't want to do spreadsheets and you don't want to plan everything out, but make sure that you, you plan things out and you have that plan and you're thinking back to that plan as everything's going on around you because you are going to have times and circumstances where you just get completely fed up. And that's what the five of coins is saying. The five of coins, the five of cups is saying here. The five of cups is saying that at times your emotions are going to get the best of you. Emotions are going to get the best of you. You're going to be frustrated. You're going to be thinking, you know, things just never work out the way that I want them to. It's always the same old thing, different day. And there is just going to be this sense of anger around you, the sense of frustration, the sense of, you know, of resentment. And it comes through this betrayal here that we're seeing, okay? That has to do around emotions, it can be with a water sign, but it has to also do with somebody that you're working with, somebody that you're getting to know. I see a young, it's a young pentacle, but because we're talking about finances here, it doesn't have to mean an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. It can very well mean somebody that you're having to work with, somebody that you're having to get to know, it's a student kind of messenger card here too. So it is somebody who is learning a lot from you and who's kind of taking your ideas. So I would be, yeah, I'm being told here to tell you to be kind of guarded of your ideas, be guarded of the way that you're attempting to implement things within your career, within your finances, because somebody's going to try and take the credit of it for it. So whether it be something big or whether it be something small, this person is going to want to make themselves look good and not give you the credit where it's due. Okay. And this is going to, this is going to really tick you off. So just make sure that you are being patient with yourself, being patient with the way that things develop. And also don't let your emotions get the best of you, especially during these 15 days. It's going to be very easy because you have here the high priestess and the high priestess is saying that you're becoming more kind of spiritually connected to things and more connected to what it is that you want. Now, the five of cups here is also a need for freedom and it's a need to turn around and see that you have this love, this two of cups energy, this healing, beautiful love leading you forward. The high priestess is saying here that there is a veil that's being lifted from your eyes. And as that veil is lifted from your eyes, you're going to get what it is that you want, but not exactly in the way that you had expected it. This is truth and this is balance. This is justice and this is, and this is harmony with self. Okay, this is also embracing the serenity and the strength of what it is that you want. And as you're looking at things, you're really seeing, it's like a puzzle. And these 15 days, you're going to find that frustrations run high and I'm not saying this to scare you and I'm not saying this for you to go, oh, great, you know, just what I needed, more, more hardship, more, you know, anger, because I have you conquering. I have you moving forward with the six of wands, celebration, conquering, hard work and setting yourself free. Okay. That's all part of this journey. But this journey also says 
to look at your truth, to look at where it is that you want to be, to look at what it is that you desire and keep on moving forward in that determination of soul and self. Remember, Caridwen, she got what she wanted just in a completely different way than she, than she expected it. She had a son who now had all the greatest gifts in the world because she was a witch in ancient Celtic times because all these cards take place in ancient Wales. So what we have here is we have you getting what it is that you want, but in a completely different way than you expected it. But still, but still the ends are what you desired. Okay, so here you're going to look at regrets, you're going to look at sorrows, you're going to look at things that didn't go right, and you're going to be like, how am I ever going to get to where it is I want to be? These things didn't go right on purpose. Things fell apart because that was a path that the divine, the universe, kind of kicked you right off of being on, okay? Didn't want you to be walking down that way. There's a way to change. It's almost as if you change your mind, change your life. Change the way that you're looking at things. Change the trajectory of your focus and your goals. Because once you do that, all right, here, what you desire then starts coming true, okay? You're changing the way you're going about obtaining the prosperity that you want because you're patiently waiting for it. And at times, not so patiently waiting for it, getting frustrated. But here, you're seeing the truth of the matter. And now you have divinity walking with you having this prosperity right behind you, leading you forward. You have the support here of either your angels or people around you who support you. And these don't have to be people that anybody thinks, you know, oh my gosh, you always want to have this person in your corner. This could be something, this can be something, this can be someone that people kind of poo poo think, oh no, you know, there's nothing great about them. But this is a person who has your back. And if you can't think of anybody, and if you're saying, Dane, I'm in this all by myself, these are your angels being with you. All right, this is a path that you need to walk down. This is also saying within business, as you're seeing the truth of the matter, you may have to go some places that you don't want to go. Business trips, you know, that you're thinking, oh my gosh, I just really don't want to do this. It's actually going to wind up being one of the best things for you. It's going to give you insights that you wouldn't have had before. And that's what these 15 days are all about. It's all about gathering and gathering knowledge, gathering understanding that is going to lead you forward to where it is that you want to be. With the repeat of the number five, you have things, pay attention to the fifth, okay? The fifth, the 10th, and the 15th, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. And as you do so, make sure that during those times, make sure you're also keeping your independence and your freedom here because five is a freedom number. And what I'm seeing is that there's a sense there's a sense of feeling as if you have your wings cut. And that's going to be something that absolutely is not what you want. And it's going to be something that you kind of rail against as you're moving forward. But as you're seeing the truth of the matter, you're seeing why situations worked, where you felt as if you had had setbacks, but they're actually, they're not setbacks. They're getting you on the path that you were supposed to be on, okay? Yeah, it has to do with freedom. It has to do with independence. It has to do with staying true to your your inner guidance, Leo, because you're not steering yourself wrong. And I'm actually going to see here. Please define. Please define the Five of Cups for Leo. Please define the Five of Cups for Leo's finance and career reading for April 1st to the 15th. Please define Leo's, Leo's Five of Cups for finance and career reading. April 1st to the 15th. Please define. Please define. Please define. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Show me clearly. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah. This this is what burdens. This is the Ten of Wands. This is carrying your creativity, your ideas. Wands for me, especially in finance and career readings, they represent work. They represent what you have to do in order to make the money, in order to have the creativity come forward. So right now you're carrying a lot and you're looking at things with regret because you don't think, mm -hmm, with the Seven of Cups, you don't think that it's going to be exactly what it is that you wanted. And now there is a battle between kind of imagination and visualization. And as I always say, the difference between visualization is seeing yourself as that successful person that you want to be, not just simply wishing and hoping and, and, and dreaming it, but telling your mind that this is your destiny, that this is part of your destiny. Because right now there are regrets, there's sorrows, there's betrayals that are coming up. There's 
Sagittarian energy here. Now, the time period of the Sagittarian energy is November 23rd to December 21st. So this is embracing your creativity. This is also embracing your, your fiery nature in a more kind of coming together with people way, pulling people together and not looking at regrets. This says here to guard what it is that you're working on, to guard your ideas, but also to share your ideas. So there's a balance here that, yeah, that has to be embraced. The Five of Swords is saying that you are victorious when others have wanted you to fail and you're going to be rising high. Make sure that things are balanced, okay? Make sure that you're giving to the right people. Make sure that you're seeing things correctly because you have the Queen of Cups here. This is healing, beautiful love, okay? Water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, okay? Emotions are going to be running high. There is this sense of this this caring energy around you to move you forward to where it is that you want to be. So that's that healing, beautiful love that I see around you it has to do with a water sign, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer here as things are being defined. It has to do with passion and with love moving you forward. You have the seven of wands here. You're defending yourself, okay? But you're defending yourself against people who won't see the truth and don't see the truth. So there's a sense to walk away. The six of cups and the sun card. The six of cups is finding that celebration, but also leaving past hurts and pains behind to embrace the beauty, the sun, the glory that you want as you are moving forward. The subconscious message for the five of cups is the emperor. This is, this represents an Aries time frame, and this is exactly the time frame that we're talking about here. This is from March 21st to April 19th. And this is saying that in this time, you have to embrace this fire sign energy. Okay, that you are Leo, but you have the Sagittarian here. You have the Aries here. This is your passion moving you forward. And the passion can be weighed down by regrets, doubts, and fears, making you feel completely overwhelmed. Focus on where it is that you want to be as you are moving forward. Okay, celebrate your successes. Don't downplay them. Celebrate them to yourself because you're going to have a tendency to look at failures. <coughs> Excuse me instead of embracing successes. Embrace those successes and keep on moving forward. It's going to be hard work and I'm not going to lie to you. From the 1st to the 15th, you are going to feel as if you're working your tuckus off. You are going to feel as if you know things are overwhelming at times, but it is going to be you creating exactly what it is that you want. There are going to be times of, you know, there are going to be times of sacrifice, of feeling as if you're out in the cold, of feeling as if you've had to make some really tough decisions, but all the while you're focusing on your end goal and that's having the prosperity, the bounty, and the, the beauty that you want within your life. Working hard, taking in messages from the divine and knowing that your angels are right there with you even when you don't think that they are, okay? This is saying that this is a time to embrace your hard work, have patience with yourself, as you're seeing things clearly, and as you're seeing things clearly, people are going to come to light around you, and you're going to see that you shouldn't be trusting some people, that you, you can't trust some people as you are moving forward. And this is saying here to kind of, again, trust everyone, brand your cattle, really look at what it is that you want from your life and from yourself, and know that the main person who's going to help you get there, especially during these 15 days, is you. And I know that's a lot of pressure putting on yourself, but you have yourself here being set free. With the fish in the cup, your world is expanding, okay? That's why you have all this fire sign energy around you, this passion, this creativity, this desire to be moving forward. You, you are jumping out of a small world to embrace a larger existence. It's almost like the saying being a small fish in a big, or a big fish in a small pond. And now it's almost as if you're saying, okay, I need to expand. I need to look at things more. I need to, to see, you know, if I can move forward and have the success that I want, because you're not happy where it is that you are, even though you're doing well, okay? You're, you're feeling as if you're out in the cold, as if you're not part of something bigger that you want to be part of, that you are looking for. So this is saying here to take that chance. This is not at all saying that you should quit your job now and kind of run away and join the circus or just go for something new without having any security around you. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I am saying here is that things are becoming, things are being brought more and more to your attention and you are seeing that 
for the prosperity that you want. You can't stay where you are right now. And this doesn't mean that you have to change jobs. It can very well mean that you're changing mind spaces, that you're, you're looking at the situations differently because it's going from regret to celebration. And that celebration is going to be what leads you forward. Your clarifying cards are the Three of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Universe. The Three of Cups is saying there are people around you who you can't trust. They're just, there's somebody who, you know, is raising their cup to you, back is turned, you can't see them, okay? So this person has their own ulterior motives. It has to do with progressing their career. Page of Pentacles, for me, especially in a financial career, reading. This is starting off as learning, understanding, comprehending, and wanting to advance themselves, knowing that they have more to learn. So they're going to kind of be, they, they're not, no, this doesn't necessarily mean that they're like stealing from you. It can very well be that they're just kind of magpieing, taking, you know, what they like from each person and making themselves look better because of it. It's not a personal thing here. It's a, they're trying to advance their career. You're trying to advance your career. And it's kind of like a race who will get there first. The universe is opening up to you. Limitations are falling away. You are learning, you are understanding, and you are gaining this understanding to keep you moving forward. So it's almost like who will get there first? This, this here isn't the race that you should be worrying about. It's patience to move forward and creating the abundance and creating the prosperity that you want to be able to, to embrace to embrace the next chapter, to embrace the things that are opening up, the way things are moving forward. And it doesn't mean that it has to be anything magnificent, okay? Because as I always say, people want firework life, you know, one big thing after another for the neighbors to see. But this is just finding out that old limitations that were holding you back, old betrayals and regrets and sorrows, especially here from the Five of Cups, that, that's starting to fall away. And now you're sitting there and you're saying, okay, I can, I can do this. I can move forward the way that I want to. I have more options than what I originally thought. Now, this is also with this patience here and this ability to move forward and the seeing of the truth of things, this is a great time to add more knowledge to your repertoire. So if you wanted to take a course on something, if you wanted to brush up your skills, you're setting yourself free, but you're also healing and learning. Okay. You have student cards here with the page of cups and the page of pentacles. So this is a great time to learn more about financial matters and about also kind of like increasing your EQ, your emotional IQ to be able to like take classes on being able to read people or watch videos on it. It's really going to help you here because your third eye is opening up and the more you can trust your intuition, Leo, the better you're going to be and the more you're going to see the prosperity around you grow to the place that you want it to be. Your subconscious message is the lover's card. Now this is a Gemini. This also is a time frame of May 21st to June 20th. Subconsciously, this is when things are going to, to be changing around the way that you want them to. Okay, this is the way you're going to be looking at things and having this love come in, having this prosperity come in, having this joy. There's a duality to what it is that you want from your career and from yourself. Leo, and this is things falling into balance. This is love and this is career coming together and really moving you forward. This is, this is embracing your prosperity and this is the angels blessing you as you're moving towards your goals, as you're moving towards where it is that you want to be. Okay, embrace this duality of your nature. Embrace the complexity of what it is that you want and know that you are moving forward in exactly the right direction. Okay, don't lose faith in yourself. You're going to have a tendency to be really, really hard on yourself for these 15 days. Know that you're, there is going to be somebody here who's going to try and get ahead. They're going to try and take some of your information. So guard that. There's also a need to set yourself free from, from thinking small and from beating yourself up over things that have gone wrong in the past. It's time it's time to move forward in love and in harmony and to celebrate your successes. Even though at times you feel out in the cold and completely overwhelmed, you, you have this. You definitely have this. Okay, Leo? Because as you are embracing what it is that you love and as you're setting yourself free, be patient. You're moving forward and you're being guided and the whole universe is opening up to you. Okay, Leo? 
I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you've made it all the way to the end with me, well, congratulations. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'll be reading for you all really soon. Bye.